thank you for coming to the rescue. I know this is a rough time, but married or not, I will always be here for you. Just give me a minute. Zach, darling, is Elise okay? You said she had some kind of accident. Elise is fine. You're sweet for asking. She's with me now, so let me call you back once I take her home. Elise's mood soured as she heard Zach's exchange with Delaney. She tapped Zach's shoulder. I want to go to my mom's. All right, let's go to Brooklyn. Elise rang the buzzer, and her mother ran to the door immediately. I'm so glad you're okay. Just as Elise's mother set the coffee down, Zach's phone rang again. Hello? It's Delaney, sir. She's here. Here in Brooklyn? She's outside and wants to see you and Elise. The audacity of that woman. You have to go down there and show her who's boss. Zach hung up his phone and looked at Elise. Well, she's not coming up here, so let's go down. Zach, I missed you so much and thought I'd stop by since I was in the neighborhood. You were just hanging around in Brighton Beach? Have you suddenly developed a love of pierogies or beaches that aren't in the Hamptons? I thought I'd expand my horizons. Maybe you and Zach can show me around. Delaney, this really isn't the time. Delaney started to cry. Elise was grudgingly impressed with this woman's ability to cry on cue. I knew it! You don't really care about me. I'll go away and you can just be with Elise and hang around in some Brooklyn walk-up. I should call a driver. Hey, hey, don't cry. I'll take you back to Manhattan. Are you coming, Elise? Picturing her mother's reaction, Elise reluctantly nodded. Sure, let's go back. I'll just say goodbye to my mom. Instead of Zach's grandmother's Upper East Side penthouse, the car pulled up at Zach's loft in Soho. Elise immediately excused herself to the bathroom, while Delaney and Zach sat together on the living room couch. Oh my gosh, is that an original John Singer Sargent? I always loved seeing his paintings in museums. I can't believe you got one. It's a copy, actually. Elise painted that. Really? Wow, that's actually really good. I thought it was the real thing. Elise is really talented. When Delaney heard Elise's footsteps padding towards them, she pretended to trip and angled herself so that she fell into Zach's arms. Elise cleared her throat, and Delaney pulled herself away from Zach in mock haste. Oh, Elise, I didn't see you there. I think you knew exactly where I was. Elise turned and walked out. Zach frowned at Delaney. Did you do that on purpose, Delaney? Why are you baiting her? No, of course not. I tripped as she was coming out. I couldn't help it. I'm going to find Elise. Don't do anything like that again. Elise stormed angrily into the elevator. Zach tried to enter with her as the doors started to close. Hey, Elise, let me in. I just want to talk. As she took the elevator down, Zach ran down the emergency stairs, hoping to catch her before she left. Elise, it's not what you think, I swear. Elise continued walking. Well, explain it then, because it looks like you accused me of loving someone else when you're actually the one who's cheating. That's not what I intended at all. At least let me have a driver take you back. No thanks. I'd rather take the subway with the peasantry than endure more of this. Zach stared after Elise as she left. The next day... A man in a suit arrived at Elise's door. Zach wanted to apologize for what happened last night, miss. Please accept this gift as an apology. The man handed Elise an envelope, which contained a check for $10,000. I don't want his money. If he thinks this will solve anything, he doesn't know me at all. Please, miss. He said to beg for your forgiveness and to tell you not to believe everything you see. He cares for you. The man left after saying his piece, with the envelope still clutched in Elise's hands. Elise shoved the envelope into her purse and decided that she could use a bite to eat. After the waiter took the menu away, 
She saw Delaney approach her table. Elise, may I sit with you? I just wanted to clear the air. Delaney sat in the booth across from Elise and placed a bouquet of flowers on the table. Zach is so romantic. He has flowers delivered to my place every morning. Elise maintained a poker face, determined not to give Delaney the response she wanted. That was nice of him. It was. Zach and I are childhood sweethearts. I've known him forever. Elise took a sip of her coffee and eyed Delaney disdainfully. Is there a point to this? You and I aren't friends. You must want something, so just come out with it and tell me what it is. So you do have a temper. If you don't want to see my temper in action, get to the point. Preferably sometime today. Zack and I have a special connection that you can't compete with. You were a placeholder for when I couldn't be with him, and while I so appreciate you taking care of him when I couldn't, you're not needed anymore. Did you come all the way here just to tell me to go away and let you and Zack ride off together into the sunset? Not at all. I know you're getting divorced, and you don't come from the same kind of background that Zack and I do. I want to help you. Delaney slid an envelope across the table to Elise. The check is for a million dollars. It's not a lot of money for me, but I know it would make a difference for you. Keep the check. I didn't marry Zach for his money, and I'm not a charity case. Elise shoved the check in Delaney's face and paid for her breakfast at the register. She began to make her way out of the diner, and Delaney started to chase Elise down the street. You can't say no to me! You are nothing, you... Before Delaney could finish her sentence, she felt someone approach from the side and punch her in the face. Delaney frowned in confusion as Elise vanished from sight. Who besides Elise would want to punch her? She turned to face her assailant. Hi, I'm Elise. Want to know my story? Then download the Pocket FM app and listen to the exciting episodes of After the Divorce. Now, 